Hello everybody, this is Toadboy MTG, and here is Pioneer Beasts, a deck tech on Beast Tribal and Pioneer. I am not saying this deck is very good, I am not saying this deck should be played competitively, I'm saying this is a funny, cool beast deck that actually has some cool things you can do with it. Uh, it is a bit expensive, so building this in paper might be annoying, but if you're going to play like proxied or casually, this is a good deck for that. It is not as good as uh, Mono Green Stompy in Pioneer, or Black Green Stompy in Pioneer, but it's a beast deck. It's running Kahira, like the cat deck, as the companion for its lord. Free, free cards are free cards. Let's see if this is worth it to play Beast Tribal. I, I do keep in mind, I do understand that you can play any of those creature types to make a Kahira deck. I'm just trying to play around with singular types at one time. There might be a competitive deck, perhaps, that runs all of those types and runs something like Collected Company, but we're not going to get into that right now. Uh, so Kahira, we know this is the Lord, gives Vigilance. The Vigilance is very powerful in this deck. Uh, turn 1, we can Arboreal Grazer. Uh, 1 mana, 0, 3, and it puts a land from your hand under the battlefield tapped. It's good mana ramp. It isn't It isn't an Elvish Mystic, but it definitely isn't a bad card. It's a beast. Uh, we get around the restriction of it having no power by giving it plus 1, plus 1. Uh, note that it does not have Defender, so we can swing and block with this, and it gives us protection against flying, so it might help us against spirits if need be. Another one drop we play is Shaper Sanctuary. Uh, basically, if they go to kill one of your creatures, even if they kill it, you're going to draw a card, effectively two for winning them, and at that point, that's very powerful. Uh, Bailoff Pup, as a two of, there might be a better card for the slot, but if you can give it a plus one plus one counter, it has Trample. It's a two mana, three one. Probably isn't the best card for the deck, but it's a beast. If you have any options for this slot, tell me down in the comments below. Uh, this is basically a three drop, but it's in the two drop slot. Uh, Hydroid Crasis. So for if you pay five mana into this, which is very possible, you can draw like a card and... Uh, have a 3-3 fi uh, three, three flyer trample gain a life or two or something like that. It it's a pretty good card. As the game goes on, it gets very powerful. The fact that it has flying uh, really helps, especially with Kahira. It's another way that we're going to be able to beat flying decks with the fact that we have reach and flying in the deck to be able to block that. So that's something green decks sometimes struggle with. Uh, Colonian Tusker. Two mana for a 3-3, three, three. that's going to end up being a 4-4 four, four with Vigilance. Um, if you can if you can turn one Arboreal Grazer, turn two this and another Arboreal Grazer or something like that, and then turn three Kahira, um, swinging in turn two, or swinging turn three with a 4-4 four, four Vigilance isn't exactly a bad thing. Uh, basically, what, one of the cool things with this deck is we are going to be giving aggro decks a run for their money if they cannot kill our Kahira. Because Vigilance slows down aggro decks a lot, especially when you have big creatures. Um, a place set of Leyline Prowler because Death Touch, Lifelink, Vigilance, and a Mana Dork all on one card is very powerful. Again, especially against aggro decks, you with your 2-2 are not going to want to swing in to a 3-4 Death Touch, Lifelink creature. The Death Touch really makes it really hard to deal with, no matter what, unless they have a kill spell for it. You are going to end up getting some value out of this, and it helps us get into our bigger creatures. Uh, a couple gem raisers. Uh, not only does this card allow us to destroy an artifact or an enchantment, it also has reach. But if we mutate it onto a arboreal grazer, we end up getting our value back out of the arboreal grazer by it being a four-four with trample. Which because it's uh, because it's the same creature. It doesn't need to have haste. You're just going to end up swinging in with it. I believe that's how it works. If I'm wrong, then they did this wrong. Uh, a play set of Null Hide Ferox. Uh, this card is really OP, but it just hasn't have a found a place yet, I don't think. Uh, four mana for a 6-6 six, six with Hexproof. Yes, I can't cast non-creature spells. We only have a couple of them in the deck. Uh, for two, two mana, anyone can uh, ignore this ability, basically or ignore its abilities, and if a spell or an ability in opponent's controls cause you to discard it, put it into the battlefield instead. Um, that's pretty powerful, because if they play a Croxa, or if this is the only card they can take out of your hand when they 
uh, attack your hand, or if they play if they play any discard that allows you to pick, this just drops right onto the battlefield as a free six six. Imagine turn two they go Croxa, and you're like, okay, no hide Ferox, GG. Like now you have to kill this, and it's going to cost a lot to kill it. It's a very powerful card in my opinion. Uh, next up we have Questing Beast. So four mana, four four, Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste. haste. Can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Combat damage that would be dealt to by creatures you control can't be prevented. And whenever it deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target Planeswalker that player controls. If you can drop this on turn 3, you are definitely in the races. You'd have the Arboreal Grazer first. But still, I mean, turn 3, swinging with a 4-4 four, four with Death Touch and Vigilance. It's, it's very good. It stops uh, other green Stompy decks from running into us because of the Death Touch. Uh, it, it's it's really good, especially against stuff like all the Planeswalkers in the formats, like the Karns and the Vivians and Nyssa. There's there's plenty of uh, Planeswalkers in the format. Like uh, There's just way too many to count, to be honest. Uh, but it's an answer to a lot of those, and we really need that. Uh, Ravenous Chupacabra. It's a beast, apparently. Uh, four mana for a 2-2. Two -two. That isn't very good. But when it enters the battlefield, destroy target creature and opponent controls. Um, well, that's, that's a 2 for 1 right there. Uh, as long as you have your Kahira out, it's a 3-3. You get, you get some good value out of it. Having removal in your creature base deck is pretty darn good. Uh, and then there is the Great Hinge as a playset. It's kind of hard if you get two of these in your opening hand. But at the same time, once you get one of these on the battlefield, it is very hard to lose if you aren't already dead, basically. Because not only is it going to come down, you're going to be able to gain two life. But you're going to, the turn after that, even maybe that turn, you might just start dropping some stuff and drawing some cards. Uh, it's OP. Uh, once you once you have one of those on the battlefield, you just kind of go off as a combo deck, it feels like. You end up getting 20 power on the board, it feels like. And there there isn't much your opponent can do other than board wipe you. Uh, going into lands, fast lands, booming marsh, mechanical sanctum. We're mostly green, so we mostly just need our green lands. Uh, two breeding pool, two forests, two mana confluence. I just like putting mana confluence in all my decks, although it's really painful. Like I've I've lost because of it a thousand times. I just love it, especially in three, four color decks. It really helps fix your mana base. Uh, four overgrown tombs. Uh, it's a it's a shock land. That's all you gotta know. And then unclaimed territory, naming beast because your deck is all beasts. Um, fun things to note is if you take a gem razor and you mutate it onto a hydroid crisis. Uh, that's pretty OP because it makes the base of it 4-4, uh, four, four, meaning you just pay 3 mana, add 4 power to it. Uh, it doesn't need the Reach of Trample, but uh, just adding the 4 and then destroying one of their artifacts or enchantments. Right now there are artifact creatures, enchantment creatures, uh, enchantment removal spells. Uh, this even destroys an opponent's Great Hinge if we have to do that. It's a pretty powerful card, and, and I think it will find some play in the Pioneer format going forward. Um, this, no, no Hide, I think, is probably a, a hidden star of the deck. If you can get this out for free, your opponent might just scoop right then and there. Especially if it's like a 7-7. Seven, seven. The next turn, you get to play like a Great Hens for 2 mana, and then get that 2 mana back. It's It can cause a big upset. Um... You can get the counter on the Bailoff pup by doing the Great Hinge thing. So if you uh, cast it off, well, if you cast it while Great Hinge is out, you'll be able to get the counter on it and then draw the card, meaning it will be up to a four-two with Trample, which isn't bad. It isn't great either. Um, it will basically turn turn two, turn three if you play your Kahira after a Bailoff pup. You will be able to swing in for four. Your opponent might kill your Bailoff pup, but you're probably going to be killing whatever they block with. If not, they, they're just taking four, and that's pretty aggressive on its own. Same with the Clonian. Uh, Leyland Prowler, I think this is one of our top cards against an aggro deck, just because it doesn't die to shock. It dies to lightning strike, unless you have a Kahira out on the battlefield. Uh, and we run Shaper Sanctuary, so if we played this before we played Leyland Prowler, we're going to get a lot of value out of it. Uh, Leyline Prowler basically adds 3 mana to our Great Henge because you can tap it for the any color of mana. That any color of mana helps us play our Hydroid Crasises with them being blue uh, and helps us with the double black on Ravenous Chupacabra. Uh, if 
if you want to see a deck on this channel go ahead and comment take a make a comment in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video